congratulations. You have been chosen the candidate by your party. So now your job is to help is to get elected. Now you don't have to do everything yourself. You have a number of groups that are going to help you, but there are some things that you need to do. And one of the things that you do need to do is write and deliver a stump speech. Now your stump speech can be no less than two minutes long, but no longer than three and a half minutes long. And what you must have on your stump speech is you must introduce yourself and your party and your vice president, who you also have to choose. You have to mention at least one point for each of your platform categories. We call them planks. So one thing on school improvement that you would do, one thing on extracurriculars, or those kind of things. You also must talk about one issue of each of your opponents, not one for each platform plank, but just one issue total. And you might want to point out how your ideas are better than theirs about different things. So you want to point out weaknesses in your candidates and your opponents' Um, platform or ideas. Now again, you're limited to three and a half minutes, which is enough time. If you go longer, I'm going to charge you a dollar per second, which is kind of uh, a lot because you need that money for commercials or your commercial group does. You need to record the stump speech yourself. So you can have someone help you record it. You can edit it however you want. Uh, you can do it in whatever location you want. But it is your responsibility to do that and make it look professional, make it look good. This is a speech that, would, that will be shown to the teams, and it will be the first introduction of you to really the voters, at least in this election. And a stump speech is a speech that a candidate would give state after state, city after city. Um, so make it good. You also have to perform in a debate. Now, the debate is Wednesday, November 29th, fourth period. You can give an opening and closing statements. They don't have to be very long. In fact, I would like them to be 30 seconds or less. You will be asked questions by me during the debate, but you'll also have the opportunity to ask questions to other candidates. The debate group will be in charge of, of writing questions that you can use, and hopefully they'll be difficult questions for your candidates. But you need to get yourself prepared. You need to dress appropriately during the debate. Dress up in some way. Uh, you need to get yourself prepared so you come across in a positive way in the debate. The debate are... The debate is filmed and it will be aired among on the teams. So this is a very visible part of the election too. You have some other campaign obligations. You don't have to do all three of these, but you have to do two of the three. You have to campaign at tables during lunch or before school um, or even after school. And you'll need to record those on your phone so I know that you, de you did them or have someone record them so they can show them to me. But you need to be going to these different tables and campaigning about why you should be the person um, that they should vote for. Or you could campaign in teams or study halls. I really suggest this. Go to team teachers and ask them if you can have you know, a minute of their time and give a little one-minute speech in the teams or in different study halls. Now, this may not be available to you depending on what your schedule is, so this may or may not work for you. But if you can get it to work out, this is, seems to be a good way to reach the voters. And for this, all you have to do is have your teacher email me and tell me that you campaigned in that team. Now you have to do a minimum of five teams or study halls or combination of the two. But um, I, uh, this is a good way of getting votes too. The last thing you could do is lead the school in the pledge. Now you have to Go down to the office and ask them when you can do this. Um, and uh, again, it's a way to, to, be, to, to get your name out there. If I were you, I would say, hey, I am and who you are. And I would love your vote this weekend or the next week. And let me lead you in the pledge today. Something along those lines. The other thing is there's an interview. Now, you, have to, you don't have to come up with the questions for the interview. And you don't have to film or edit the interview, but you have to be interviewed. So you should be able to get the questions in advance. You know how to answer them. Uh, there will be questions that are not about the platform, but about other aspects of the election or things that would make you best prepared to be the president of our school and so on. Probably want to dress up for this. This is, again, a, a visible thing. This is played in teams. Uh, coming across well in this interview will help you in the election. Funny is always good, but sometimes people take it to an extreme. So make it funny, you know, maybe humorous, but yet still good. And lastly, be available. 
You don't have to be in all the commercials, but you might want to be in one or two of them. If the commercial people want you in the commercials, then you need to be available for filming. You need to um, provide pictures to different groups. If they're going to put your picture on a, on a poster, then obviously they may need a picture. So you either have to be available for pictures to be taken of, or if you have maybe senior pictures or other pictures that you like that you think you'd want to use, you need to have those available. Those are the things that you need to do in this election.